okay uh, in the previous video i showed you how to declare this configuration folder in this video i will show you uh, how to explicitly load html content to a specific uh, view uh, so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to declare explicit uh, or maybe a common header file and common footer file then we don't need to declare again and again this html html things like that okay because it, it is uh, it just a uh, you know same thing repeating and the uh, several instances so instead of that what we can do is basically i will just remove this content and i will simply call h1 uh, simple epic if i go to the browser it will show like that now i can modularize this uh, corresponding view as this part as view and uh, uh, this part as header and this part as the footer so inside the views folder i will create a new folder called includable things inc uh, maybe i will call create another folder known as components so this component folder holds the corresponding header.php and the footer.php so header content basically uh, be about these things and uh, footer content basically this body and html stuffs um footer. and uh, we know that uh, we are going to we have to use css later on so i can simply specify a style folder over here a style a file style.css file over here and uh, yeah uh, and i need to load this style css file inside the header so basically it's link i think uh, link rel style sheet now styles must be taken out of the php core url root uh, and it must go to the css folder and it must go to the styles.css file right and uh, our css content must be responsive so we can uh, declare some metadata so meta name i will name it as viewport so these are just for responsive created things so width must be equal to the device width and the initial scale must be 1.0 right and uh, i will okay so i will simply go to the view about an h1 content over here now i can load my uh, head and footer over here right so php require app root go to the views folder go to the ink go to the components and header dot php so similar line goes over here but it's 
and let me reload the content okay it works nothing changed we need to works in this case okay uh so i can do the styling as well so if i go to the style css and let me do some you know very basic styling maybe changing the color as maybe blue and if i reload it wait a minute okay it not works why is that h1 color yeah uh let me go to the header file php echo url root css style.css okay then um, let me go to the inspect real quick and to the source no elements a simple epic css style css and h1 is there right um so maybe let me declare another class as test go to the styles dot text and reload it hmm well it needs to be work because i think i declared it correctly but let me check my documentations <coughs> Okay, footer content is correct. Uh, header content. Link style sheet h ref php echo url root css style dot css. Yeah, let me switch this stuff. Uh, Okay, uh, let me pause the video. Okay, uh, so I think it's <clears throat> sorry, it's some sort of an issue in this uh, external CSS loading, but anyway, it works. Uh, so forget about this external stuff. If I simply specify it as style uh, as the internal style. Now if I go to the Chrome, load it, okay, so it works, right? So that's how uh, we modularize the footer and header uh, for a specific view. Then we don't need to explicitly define uh, or re again and again define the footer and uh, header. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for now and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Okay, uh, after debugging a few minutes, I found the bug. Uh, the reason uh, which uh, doesn't give this color, okay. Uh, so it was like this when we load the external CSS. Uh, the thing is, uh, so this is our header file. So I add some new stuffs over here with just simple stuffs. You can uh, copy the same thing. Uh, and the CSS file is over there. So, here is our CSS file. So, it changed in the body color as red. So, the error was in this HT access file. Uh, actually, within this public HT access file, these brackets must be curly. Not curly, uh, I don't know the specific name. Yeah. These brackets, okay. Okay.
So now if I load it, <laughs> the color works, okay? Uh, so yeah, now that's it and uh, the stylix works. Uh, yeah, I will show you in the next video.